Namaste to all the students. Welcome to the Kathak class lesson number 2. Okay. Quick revision. Stand in summer. Naman. And we will say the teen tal once. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Dha. Din. Din. Dha. Dha. Din. Din. Dha. Dha. Tin. Tin. Ta. Ta. Din. Din. Dha. Dha. Okay. Let's practice the footwork in Vilambe. Five, start from nine, six, seven, right leg, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, change and right, left, right, left, now left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. left. Utpatti position, the mudra will be like this. Arala. And make sure that when you're standing in the first position, you look relaxed, you look calm, you look confident. Your elbows cannot be down and it cannot be up like this. You're in center and now we will start the hand exercise. This is called Urdhva Hasta Chakra. Okay, in the book it's written Urdhva Hasta Chakra. If you say Urdhva Chakra Hasta also is not wrong. Urdhva is U R D H V A. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. From the center you go 1. The hand goes out, turns. On 2, you look at your hand. 3, you look in front. 4, the hand comes back. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16. Okay, this is the hand movement. Now, right now, I'm not really using my torso. I'm just showing you the hands so that you are more clear with this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, now we were just doing the movement without really feeling it because we are not using our torso. Okay, we will use that a little later. Let's start from the basics. Let's take it slow. Okay, now the common mistakes are that a lot of people will try to do this. It's not like this. It's from outside. This is my right side. This is my left side. This is not a selfie video. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight. Right, up, giving Ashirvad, down, left, up, giving Ashirvad, and down. Okay, let's try that. And uh, now, what you have to do is if you have got the movements right, now a little bit you will also use your torso. Little bend, don't bend too much, just this much. 
and then you will come here. What I'm doing is when I when I start the movement, there is a little I I elevate, I, I take it up my torso. How do I tell you this? You know, I just I don't take it up too much like this, but it's a very small movement and it's internal. So one, so I'm standing like this, so what I do is I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm using my shoulder blades, I'm using my back, I'm using the whole torso. I can feel the stretch. So if I do this exercise, actually it's it's really like, it's not so easy. You will you will start sweating if you do this for a long time. Okay, let's try with the machine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just don't jump to the next step. Okay? Let's move on. Madhya Chakra, Madhya Hasta Chakra. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, you send it out straight in front, right side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. So the process is same. You send it out, then it goes on the side. Now when you come in, you bring you the, the movement is from the elbow you bring, okay? Not like this. Some people will do like this. One, two, three, four. It's not like this. So from the elbow you push it in, and what happens? This hand comes in last, it comes to the ashirvad position and then it comes to Utpatti position. So that is the journey of the hand, okay? Like this. And what I do is I go straight, I look side, then I look at my elbow. On three, and on four I look in front, and then I do five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's try that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1. Now what you can do is you can go a little, little bit ahead. Don't go like this and fall. Just a little bit ahead and side. Do you see I'm not doing too much. Just a little bit. And then I pull it in and in front. And I'm really using my shoulder blades. I don't know what, if, you, if you know what I mean by shoulder blades. I'm using my back also. You have to... You can't just dance by using your hands. You have to really use it from the back. Okay? So your hand is not only this much. It's right here. It's going to here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one. Simple, actually it's very simple and fun. I love these exercises. Let's try with Tal Machine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thank you. 
hand will start coming here. You can't cross it here. It has to be here. This hand space is only here. It cannot come here, okay? This is my territory, right hand territory, left hand territory. And there is at least three fingers gap between both the hands. It can't be joined. Your utpatti can't be. A lot of people also stand like this in utpatti. If you see, a lot of professionals I have seen, it's ridiculous. And some of them stand like this. So this is not the right way. You will stand here. Because this, why we, we, we keep this three fingers gap? So that our frame is broader. Otherwise it will become like this. Imagine if I have to overlap it, it's going to be like this. I have to make my frame a little broader and I have to look like a dancer. A dancer has a different poise. It has a dancer, if you, if you look at the person and with the way the person is walking, the attitude, the style, they're very graceful. You will know this person is a good dancer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one. Now let's do Urdhva and Madhya with the Tal machine. One, two, three. From the left, let's start. Five. Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One more time. Dha, din, din, dha. Dha, din, din, dha. Dha, tin, tin, ta, ta, din, din, dha. Okay, this should look like if there's water in my hand, I'm dropping the water. You drop it and you bring it back. Again, pull from the shoulder. 
inside okay don't do like this it's not like this and th please don't do like this this is again it's there of course it's there we do this sometimes but right now it's only tala from here only you have to bring it back i know some of you are going to do this not now this is later this is this is a different movement altogether So I have given you the Kalai exercise. This is what you have to do. In my live session, I had told you, I want you to practice this. This will all help you to do the movements. So a beautiful Kalai, chakras, nazar, abhinay, posture, angles, lines. These are all significant aspects of a, of a Kathak dancer. It defines a Kathak dancer. You will always come to know how trained, how beautiful, how practiced कितना रियाज किया है उस डांसर ने आपको पता चलेगा उनकी कलाई से और बेंडिंग से पता चलेगा कैसे उसको होल्ड करता है बॉडी हाउ यू होल्ड योर बॉडी हाउ यू स्ट्रेच योर बॉडी इट शोज ओके फॉर एग्जांपल एंड बोथ द साइड्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ कथक इज इफ आई हैव टू डू तिगदा तिगदा थई इफ आई एम डूइंग हियर देन आई आल्सो हैव लेफ्ट साइड तिगदा तिगदा थई सो द लाइंस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू सी अ डायगोनल लाइन यू सी अ डायगोनल लाइन हियर यू डोंट नीड मिरर I have, I think I have never danced. I have never learned. I never took my training in front of the mirror because you become dependent on the mirror. Okay, your mind should know this is diagonal. Now I think this is not diagonal. I have a feeling. My mind knows this is diagonal. Okay, the line is straight here, diagonal, or is up. It's up here. Down, down. All of this. You have to know in your body. Your mind has to know if you are doing correct. If you are in the right position, right position. You have to know. Okay. So no need of mirror. No need of all the fancy things. Just practice. Now what we will do is we will do all the three hastas with the footwork also. That's the main thing you have to do. And that's going to be a challenge. It's going to be very difficult. Let's try that. Right. 
the sum. So you will obviously for sum, right leg you will hit and you will go diagonal and from center utpatti you will just send your right hand out and the weight will shift more on the right leg. The left leg is a little bit like this. Okay, the weight is not there on the left leg much. It's on the right leg and your body is leaning little forward. Don't go like this. It's not like this. Okay, just very. Yeah, that much. That's enough. And that's diagonal. Actually, because I know the camera is here, you will not find this enough diagonal. I'll do it like this for you. Here. Okay, this will be your sum. Now, this is going to be very difficult for a lot of you. You will get confused because suddenly your mind has to do the coordination of the feet and hands. And then it's alternate. So now, this time what I'm doing is, those who are finding this difficult, they will just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You will just do right, left, right, left for now. Okay, eventually you will get it. So first you practice with right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And then you will practice with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1. And then you will do Madhya and then Tal. Okay, uh, I think I should make you do this one more time. Uh, Tal machine, I think better. Tal machine. Get used to it. Two, three, four, five. I'm just doing ha, din, din, ha, ha, din, din. Don't go banging the floor, okay? You will hurt yourself and it's dangerous. So that was the end of lesson number two. And today we did uh, uh, Udva Hasta Chakra, Madhya Hasta Chakra, Tala Hasta Chakra. And we also uh, did with the feet, okay? We did the hands and legs together, which is difficult, I know. And uh, you have to practice, but eventually you will get it. We all get it. And once you get it, you're going to enjoy it even more. Okay, so having said that, uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, what you have to do is you have to write down the notes which I have already given in the group don't just let the notes be there you have to write it down you have to read them write them you have to study and you have to practice that is what you need to do and uh, remember that these basic exercise is something that I also do it almost every day and even if you become a great dancer you still have to go back to your basics and you have to practice so this is the time and this is your starting. So practice properly. You do your kalai, beautiful. The kalai has to be nice, round. Okay, both the kalai, not just one. And practice this. Remember this? Yeah. So practice this. Don't do too fast. Slow is okay. And once you get it, then you can do fast. So that's all. Namaste. Please keep dancing.